Chang here with a review on the Oakley M Frame 3.0 Alpha Edition. Uh, this one's going to be in, uh, if you can see the side of the box there, the uh, Terrain Tan, which is kind of an FDE color. And this is an array, so it does come with three lenses clear uh, the Prism TR22 and the Prism TR45 lens. Let's go ahead and get this box open. Show you how the packaging comes. And I'll take this, take this cool box and it off in the background here. So it comes in the ballistic nylon case. Um, does have a little vent hole here, vent hole here. You can run your belt through this part here, or you can clip it onto uh, your backpack or whatnot. Inside the case, you're going to have your standard stuff that comes whenever you get Oakley stuff. You will have uh, your owner's manual. Instructions on how to actually swap the lenses. So it says halo here. These are that's for the goggles If you just flip it inside here, you'll see it says M frame alpha it unfolds to actually show you The how you can swap out the lenses um, does come with a head strap that uh, basically pop into little holes on the ear pieces here you see these little holes on the ear pieces the the strap actually has that little mounting post right there the uh, glasses of course come out it has this knife foam case your your uh, microfiber bag you're also going to get this little bottle here and this is um, what Oakley calls the Oakley nano coating and this is going to be a fog slash dust resistant coating that you put on the lens to help keep the lenses from fogging up. So it comes in its, own, in its own little carry bag, microfiber carry bag as well. Um, if you look into the case here, we've got the clear lens, and then we have here, I believe this is the TR22, it's a little bit darker. Um, and this one's a little bit lighter here, so that could be the TR22. 45 now the 22 and the 45 in the number in the in the lens designation those stand for the amount of light transmitted so 22 percent light transmission is a lot less light transmission so that's going to be a darker lens uh, tr45 uh, they bill it as the replacement for the persimmon lens so that's going to let in about 45 percent of the light that you're looking at the uh, the the lenses are supposed to be designed in such a way that they enhance targets and what you're shooting at. They were designed in conjunction with the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit. So are they worth it? I believe they are. Um, I wear nothing but Oakley glasses. Um, there's just a lot of history with me and the Oakley brand. Um, so one of the big things for me is a lot of safety glasses, the cheap ones especially, and especially sunglasses as well, um, they just dim light. They don't enhance contrast. And the, the cool thing about the prism lenses across the entire Oakley range, but specifically here, the, the TR lenses, they actually cause things to kind of pop out when you're looking at them, especially targets. So they've done something with the tint of the lens that allows for that. Um, one of my favorite lens tints is high intensity yellow. Oakley has not made that for almost a decade. Um, so I have a couple of pairs of glasses that I cherish and I use that I have, have with those lenses in them. And I use those indoors a lot because they help, um, they help cut blue light. So the persimmon lens is, is supposed to be good for that. Persimmon lenses are actually pretty good for trap shooting as well because they, again, uh, create a lot of contrast. So the Oakley lenses, they are uh, ANSI Z87.1 certified, so that's an OSHA standard. They're also uh, mil-spec. They run up to the mil-perf 32, 432, so against ballistic fragments and things like that. So you are getting glasses that are very, very high quality, very shatter resistant. Um, and cool thing about Oakley's, and I've experienced this myself, is the fact that they really don't cause eye strain or eye fatigue. One of the problems with cheaper glasses is that when you put them on, because of what we call wrap, here with the glasses going this way, wrapping, and then rake, where we see the lenses kind of raking forward here at that angle, wrap and rake uh, in less 
well-designed glasses will actually produce uh, visual distortion. So with that, um, the way Oakley's lens polymers are designed, they want to they, they minimize distortion and they are pretty close to glass. Now with glass, obviously that's not safety. So you can take a, take a particle to the glass, the glass explodes into your eye, that's a bad day for you. So um, what we want in safety glasses is not only protection, but we also want as little distortion as possible so that we don't suffer from eye strain. Basically when you distort the light coming through the lenses, your, your brain knows where certain things are, they know the relationship of those things, and it tries to compensate for that. And it, create, it can create eye fatigue, eye strain, and, and headaches. So um, I saw this demonstration done once. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know how valid it is, but uh, I'm going to actually here turn the camera upwards uh, and project the laser. Um, and I'm using my CERT, CERT unit here, and I'm gonna project a laser on a, on a a, uh, a point on the wall here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run the lens in front of the, in front of the CERT unit, the lasers, and you'll be able to see the movement on the laser on the wall. Uh, and that's just a demonstration of how the light's being bent. I also have a new pair of safety glasses here, the cheap safety glasses. They are not scratched, they are brand new. You see them in the packaging here. And I'm going to run these in front of the lasers as well. And we'll see how much movement they exhibit, just so that you guys can check that out. So let me get this set up here. Uh, excuse me while I move the, uh, the camera and stuff around. I'll be right back. All right, so I have the, the circ gun, the laser actually resting on the table. And I'm going to point it at this, this uh, knob of the handle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this pair of glasses. I don't know if you can, this pair of glasses right here. I'm going to run that in front of the laser here. I'm going to try not to move the laser. But you're going to notice, so this is the glasses in front of the laser. If I move the glasses, you notice that you get a little bit of focusing, a little bit of movement, but not much. All right, now I'm going to do it with cheap pair of safety glasses. All right, get it centered. Now this is in front. You see how much it moves? All right, let's try it again. So as I move it back and forth, you'll see a jump in the laser. Oh, sorry, that's the bridge of the nose there. All right. So you, let's put it over here. All right, away through the safety glasses, away through the safety glasses. So you see as I move it, it's jumping. All right, so you can see movement there. If I do it with the Oakleys, All right, you see nothing's going on there. Now, just for something fun, watch my reading glasses. Ready? <laughs> see, that's a lot of refraction there, you see that? All right, so while that doesn't seem like a lot of movement um, out there, um, here's, the, here's the CERT unit. Um, if you wanna see how far away that is, let me just tilt that camera up. It's actually right out there. So that's the little drawer knob that we were using and this is the workbench right here so it doesn't seem like a lot of movement but that's enough movement or that's enough deviation that if you wore these glasses for you know an all-day class or an all-day range session at the end of the day you you probably had to have a headache so um, my personal belief I will always be uh, a fan of Oakley stuff uh, especially the glasses um, I'm probably going to do a video later on uh, try to simulate one of my favorite Oakley advertisements where they shot a M-frame lens with a 12 gauge and none of the pellets went through. Uh, I will uh, replicate that at some point. So at the end of the day, if you're looking to snag a, a, one of these arrays, I would tell you to go ahead and check out my buddy Dave over at Man of War Precision or Man of War Parts. I'm going to put a link to his website down in the description. I will also have a coupon code there for 5% uh, 
off to be used at checkout. Hopefully this has been informative. If you like this video, go ahead and please give us a thumbs up and give us a, a subscription or subscribe to the page here. Go ahead and click that bell icon off to the right there so you can be notified anytime we have new videos that get posted. As always, stay safe and we'll see you out on the range.